Hi friends, it's Steph. Oh my gosh, this is my third time with this video. Um, as you can see, look, I finished the general store floor, but I want to give you a word of caution on something. So do you see here up at the top part, I've got several gaps in between my um, sticks. I had a piece of tape covering that. I don't know what happened. Um, I had gone a little too far over, so I pulled those sticks off so that when, and I'll fix it once I put the sides on. But these down here that have no gaps were my first set of popsicle sticks. Now let me put you here in the tripod and I'm going to show you what happened. Um, so my first set of popsicle sticks I um, came with this packaging. Um, it told me how large the popsicle sticks were. These were from Walmart, and I know because I believe it tells me that I got it from Walmart, because at first I couldn't remember where I bought them from. So I went through all these 150. So I sent my daughter to Walmart. I sent her a picture of the packaging and told her what I wanted her to get. So she comes back with this package. Now, they did not have a seal on them. Um, they do not have a sizing on them. So, but they look the exact same. But when I went to start using them, these were just a hair smaller than the other ones. So I don't know, is, is that shrinkflation, y'all? You know, where you buy the same thing, but they're a little smaller, like, because they save money on stuff. Like, you buy a jar of peanut butter, 14 ounces is $7, and then you go buy it, and it's 12 ounces, but it's still $7. I don't know, but I was really annoyed. So I was trying to fill in some of the spots with um, strips of wood, but then I got to thinking, do I really want to do that? And I may on some of these larger gaps, but I feel like it's going to be covered up with all the stuff that's in the general store, the counters and everything, the um, wood burning stove, all of that stuff. So I'm going to see how that goes. But some of these larger gaps, like I have a pretty big one um, right here, I probably will fill that in. But let me move this out of the way because... Oh my gosh, we're not doing the general store today. We are doing a Timu haul. And uh, I've been waiting on this Timu order for forever. And But I'm going to start with a couple of things that I found at, sorry for the packaging, that I found at the dollar store. So one thing that's good like for making furniture, curtains, things like that, these little small um, rolls of fabric um, now I have a ton of fabric because like you guys know, I'm, I sew a lot, so I have a ton of fabric, but I don't always have things that I think will look good as furniture. This one in particular, this blue, I wanted to get for Lucy's, um, couch for her house. And I did order a chair and I think the chair is going to complement this so that when I make the couch, they'll look like they go together. Um, but I picked up a few others because I thought those looked nice, maybe for bedding or something for another project. Um, so those will go in the stash. But always look. And when I first looked in the first bins that they had at Dollar Tree, um, I hope I said Dollar Tree at the beginning, they um, were not great choices. And so I didn't see on the other side of the aisle, they had another box. Um of fabrics and that's where I found those so um first I'll start with my Mother's Day gift from my daughter I got another um Roll Life Super Creator um this is another one of those plastic kits that you just kind of snap things together I just think they're so fun and I want to get all of them there's nine of them um so I hope to get all of them I got this one for Mother's Day and then I found on Timu, they also sell them on Timu. So I got myself one on Timu. Um, they are about $8 cheaper on Timu than they are on Roll Life's um, website or than they are on Amazon. So just keep that in mind. Now, they have one on Timu, and for whatever reason, I want to say it was the bedroom 
that my daughter, I think she got that off of Amazon. But on Timu, the bedroom is like $45. So it's actually more than the Roll Life um, website. And if you order for the first time on the Roll Life website, you can get 10% off of your first order. So definitely check that out. Now, this first thing that I got, this is for Lucy's apartment, and it is a fireplace. Um, if you look at the pictures, the um, fireplace in Lucy's apartment absolutely has um, a design like this. This looks like faux brick kind of thing. Um, so I thought this would be perfect. Now, I will tell y'all, I also found this on Amazon. It's funny, but they all sell the same stuff, guys. I know everybody says, oh, don't buy on Timu, go to Amazon. Well, it's coming from the same place on Amazon. And I know they worry about um, their identity being stolen, whatever. I use PayPal as a pay source on Timu, so nobody ever has access to my card. So, um, I mean, obviously, do your own due diligence and shop where you want to shop. But... Just know it's the same stuff from the same companies. Um, and Timu is a marketplace. It's not like a company. Um, it's individual sellers that have stores on Timu, kind of like Etsy, but not handmade, obviously. But I will say on Amazon, this was about 50 cents cheaper. But because I was already making an order, I just went ahead and got it on Timu. So this is for Lucy's apartment. And I don't know about you guys. You know, I like watching Timu hauls. I watch them um, at night um, before I go to bed. And the the thing that bothers me the most is, you know, this has become a very popular thing to be a Timu um, oh, um, person, you know, that influencer, I guess, for lack of a better word. And um, they just seem to buy stuff just to buy it. And I'm like, what do y'all do with all of that stuff? So I am very trying very hard to be very purposeful in what I purchase on Timu. Because I don't want to be purchasing on there just for the sake of purchasing. Does that make sense? So I try to make sure. And yes, guys, there are sometimes, yes, I buy something because, oh my gosh, that looks so cute. Um, I mean, I'm not holier than that or whatever but um I'm really just trying to consume less my house is full of stuff and I just I don't want it to be anymore um but you know I, I just I guess my thoughts are purchase what you want or what you need and not just because somebody else is purchasing it I guess um so I got a little wash tub look at this cute little washboard this is for the general store don't you think that is just adorable? I love it. Um, super cute. Um, we'll put that in the general store. Um, and y'all, oh my gosh, I had to empty my trash. It was overflowing from just everything I've been working on. And I apologize for the paper. Somebody did complain about the paper rattles once. I am one of those weird people. I love to hear the... Um, crinkling of the <laughs> wrapping stuff. I can't get this window open. I'm trying. There it goes. Um, so the windows came in. So um, this weekend I'll be videoing, um, doing the um, windows for the um, general store. So I'll get those. I'll start with the prepping of the walls and get these windows in. These are for the sides. They come. This is very nice, y'all. Nice wooden window. Um, it's got the panes are already included here. It comes with a plexiglass that will go in there. It's um, protected right now. And then on the inside, so you'll sandwich this from the outside to go in. And then it also comes with sashing for the inside of the window. So it looks finished um, when you put it on there. Love that. Very good quality. And I was very hopeful that it would be. So I was not disappointed in that. Um, I believe those were about $3 a window, if I remember correctly. And you know, guys, I don't do prices because they change so much um, and so quickly. If you want me to tell you what to look under, I absolutely will. Just leave me a comment. Um, I have done that for someone before, the little green um, porcelain bowls. Unfortunately, they were sold out when she asked me, but um, hopefully I um, signed up to be notified when they come back in stock. 
Um, look at this. It's a little knitting basket. It's got little baby knitting needles. Um, they are all glued down and some little um, rolls of thread of yarn. Sorry, not thread. Um, this I'm going to put in the general store as well because I'm sure people had to go and buy um, yarn from the general store, don't you think? Super cute. Um, these, okay, these are smaller windows. Now, I got these because I wasn't sure, the picture wasn't very clear for me, so I wasn't sure if this is going to be what I wanted. I need a window for Lucy's apartment over the stove. Now, these were much cheaper. These were four, and you know, guys, I had one that was similar to the bigger window that had the sashing and stuff, but they were more expensive. So I thought, you know what, I'm going to buy these and see if they'll work. I can make these work, but they're not as nice as the other ones. These look like they're laser cut. I mean, they're perfectly fine. Um, so this will be one of my windows, or the window over the stove in Lucy's apartment um, going to the outside so and I might use one of these for the general store I'm going to put those bigger ones one I bought two one on either side um, just so it lets some light in there so I think that'll look nice oh well, let's see what this is we've got something in a box here a very mushed up box I really wish Timu, and maybe it costs more to ship in boxes, I don't know, but I wish they would not ship in those bags because it is such a mess when you get it. Oh, look how gorgeous, y'all. Look. I'm going to put this one in the general store. Now, I know back in the late 1800s, early 1900s, many people made their own cradles, but I'm sure somebody somewhere had to buy one, don't you think? Look how beautiful that is. Good quality, y'all. There's not much glue seepage or anything. This is very good. There's a little glue here. I bet I can get that off with the X-Acto knife. So if I want to stain this or paint it, um, y'all, this is just beautiful. It really is. I love it. All right. Y'all, I've been sick all week this last week. A few days of school. We have three days left. Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. And oh my gosh, I've been sick all this last week and it's just killing me. I've been so tired. Um, so this is for my sewing studio that I was making in one of my little um, house um, vignette things. Um, this is super nice. I'm not sure. It feels kind of like resin. I'm sure it probably is. Um, but very good quality. Very sturdy. Um super nice I really like that um it's just a mannequin so um I might put a skirt or something on it when like something somebody's sewing on when they're in there and this weekend guys I know my lighting is so bad and I've been trying to figure out how to do better with my lighting I have three lights over me and I have my overhead lights on but it's just not enough so I'm going to move my miniature setup over closer to my sliding glass doors and see if that helps with the lighting and in that spot over there I also have a large um, mechanics overhead lamp so I'm hoping that that works a little bit more this seems to have stuff in it that's everything all right this is a little sewing set again this is actually for the general store though I'm going to roll this fabric like it's on a bolt um, it came with a little sewing book. Look how cute that is. And a little baby iron. <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to use this iron or not, but I might. But I thought that was super, super cute. And I think that was about $4 for that stuff. This bag is going to try to fall down, and I do not want it to. So. All right. I hope, I think this is my favorite thing that I've been waiting on. It seems a weirder shape than what I was thinking it was going to be. Oh, no. This is a door. <laughs> okay. This, I'm not going to take it out of the package, but this is Lucy's back door. Because, you know, they had a window there. I know theirs only had like four panes on it. But this was as close as I could find. Again, it's got the sashing with it. Um, so that once you put it on, it looks like, you know, a real door. So I'm super excited with that. The quality, y'all, is great. 
I really could not be happier. I do believe this was about $5. So they are a little more expensive, but I'm telling you, they are worth the cost. You might check them on Amazon and see if they're the same price if you want to get it quicker and don't have to wait for Timu shipping. That's my biggest complaint about Timu is I just am impatient and do not want to wait. Oh, darn it, guys. So I got this. I really thought it was smaller, and honestly, in the pictures, it looks smaller. I may send these back, or maybe I'll just use a couple of them. I got these for the classroom. Um, if you're a teacher, a preschool teacher, or own a daycare, you know these little soft mats, or maybe you even had one for your children. Um, I was going to put some in the classroom that I'm doing, but I think they're just way too oversized. But what I might do... I might look at four of them and see how it fits in there, but if it's too big, I think I'm going to send these back because they are much bigger than I thought. This is more Barbie size um, than 1 12th scale, and I am just mad about 1 12th scale, so um, we don't do Barbies too much. I don't even think my granddaughter plays with Barbies, but um, so I'll see about this. I may send it back. I'll keep y'all posted on that. All right. Oh, dang. Well, I got more of those windows. Now what am I going to do with all those, y'all? I'm going to have to figure out something else to build, huh? Oh, wait till I tell y'all. Y'all know I tell you my brain goes 90 to nothing constantly trying to think of something that I want to make or do. And um, you know the mint camper that I have? Um, I've decided I'm going to make that a little cookie camper. Like they sell cookies out of those little like food trucks. I think it'll be so cute. Now, one thing y'all don't know about me, I do sell cookies occasionally. I just some drop cookies. Um, my friends and around here, they, you know, when I sell some cookies um, to raise some money for whatever my car is in the shop. So I sold some cookies. And um, so I thought about it and I think that little camper will be cute as a cookie shop. Um, <clears throat> so these are like, I get wood slats for flooring maybe um i wasn't sure this is one of the things i bought that i wasn't sure what i'm gonna do with it i may put this in a bin in the general store to where it's like in a bin like this where people could just come and pick a couple of slats that they want maybe they just need a couple of slats to fix their porch or something so that may be what ends up happening with that they're super nice they have um sticky on the back, you peel this off and they stick down. Gosh, I wish I could have um, bought enough of these to do the general store flooring. <laughs> but um, these were about $4 too. And so now I think that would be a little bit pricey. But I guess I never said, you know, when you're purchasing supplies to do a project, guys, always buy a little more than you think you're going to need. Like if I had bought two of those packages when I bought the package... I would have been able to do the general store flooring in all the same size. So just think about that when you're buying supplies. Don't overbuy, but buy more than you think you're going to need. All right, this is what I thought that uh, that door was, but this is the window for Lucy's apartment that goes behind the piano. Can y'all see that? It is beautiful. Um, very good quality again. Um, well made. Oh my gosh, y'all. I am just very impressed with these. Um, it has, it also has the, um, window to go, you know, in there, the plexiglass. Um, this one does not have sashing for the back of the window, um, for the outside, but this will go inside the house. So probably what I'll do is just do some stir sticks, um, and do that on the back myself super nice. I'm, I'm ready to get started on that Lucy apartment, y'all. I gotta finish this general store. Oh. But I think once I get um, the walls and everything done, it'll get going pretty quick. Um, so I got this um, coffee table. Super nice. This looks like the one that Lucy had in her apartment, and that's what this is for, for Lucy's apartment. Um, so it's pretty decent quality. There's some bumpy rough sections here on this side of the table I mean like really it's rough when you touch it um but from far away you know nobody that's the joy of miniatures nobody's getting too close to your miniatures so if things aren't just perfect 
it's going to be okay. But this is for Lucy's living room. So I like that. It's pretty nice. It looks a little tall, but maybe it'll be okay. All right, let's see what else we've got. Okay, this is, and it looks like it might be broken, um, a little shelf. Yeah, but all i got to do is glue the part back on. This is just a little wall shelf. Um, you see this little piece just popped off. It was just glued on, so I can just fix that and glue that back on. It needs a little bit of sanding. But other than that, pretty good condition. can be painted or stained, whatever you want to do with it. Um, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this. I'll either hang it on the general store wall or in Lucy's kitchen above the stove. Um, I think on the one wall she had a shelf up there, but I'll see. I'm going to double check on that because I don't know off the top of my head. Oh, let me keep that together. Okay, but super cute. Um, not horrible quality, just broken, probably just because they stuff it all in a bag, y'all. Um, I took somebody's advice and I got some nail art stickers. Um, and somewhere in here I bought some. Let me see if I can find them. They're in here somewhere. They were rattling when I got the bag and I was like, oh my gosh, is something broken in there? So what I thought I would do is take these stickers because the china stuff is pretty expensive. But I got these little dishes. Look how cute these are, y'all. They are all plastic, but look, there's like a little chip and dip or a crudité platter that you could just put stuff in. Um, but what I thought I would do is with these plates, I would use these stickers to stick them on and make it look like it's china. So um, I may have to, you know, use some of the smaller ones. They, there's some great, great big ones that I probably won't be able to use. But um, there's platters and oval one. There's a little um, serving bowl. Like I guess you could put it on something like that. Um, there's these. These remind me of my mother-in-law's Pyrex. That's like a shape like a leaf. Super cute. This was like $5 for all of these. I mean, it comes with quite a bit. They are plastic, though, I will tell you. they're And they're kind of cheapy plastic, you know, not um, nicer, thicker plastic. But it will work for what I need it for, which I don't know what that is yet. But <laughs> I just felt like I needed it. So lots in there. I forget how many pieces that is, but it's a lot, as you can see. And then the nail stickers come with a ton of those. And those come in so many different colors. Red, blue, um, all kinds of things. So super nice. All right, here is another door. You might remember in my very first haul, I also got a door. Well, in Lucy's apartment, there's the front door, the back door, and then there's the door going into the kitchen. This door is much like the other one that I hauled the first time. Um, and so what I'm gonna do, instead of putting a knob on here, I'm going to um, do a rectangle of like metal. Um, you know how they have those like for kitchen doors and I'll do it on both sides. Um, now the back side of it is not finished like the front side is, but I don't think that's gonna matter because it will be the kitchen. And so this door will swing front out and in um, like that. So I think this will work good for the kitchen and I'm just gonna cover that up without a knob and make it like it's one of those flashing things um, for the kitchen door. I think that's gonna work out perfect. All right, we're getting down to the end here, guys. Now don't tell me, it looks like I bought something that is like one plate. Oh, excuse the dogs, somebody must be home. Um, because that's all they know how to do is bark every time somebody opens the door. Okay, now these, oh my gosh, y'all, these are so cute. These are china. There's only It only came with two plates. Oh, sorry about the plastic. Um, but they are glass or, you know, like china porcelain. I'm not sure what they're made out of. Um, the glazing is not perfect on the bottom, but, you know, I'm not going to be looking at that. So I think either the nail stickers could work on this or they could stay white. They're very nice, very good quality. I like those. All right. Um, okay. This is for the general store. 
it looks a little small though so y'all I don't know what I'm gonna do with this one we'll see about this one so it's a pail and mop <laughs> look how cute that is um, it's got a little handle on it um, I do believe it is plastic you know sometimes these resins it's hard to tell um, what they are but there's the little bucket and here's the little mop um, super cute. I think just the bucket, though, is off on size. Um, but I'll see how it looks. You know, you can get away with a lot when you are doing something like a general store or something. And you've got so much stuff in there. Sometimes when stuff is like either a little big or a little small, depending on where you put it in the store, it can fit fine. Um, I do, I'm not looking at perfection for this, but you know... I want it to be as realistic as possible. Um, this is just the other window that I got. Same window, I just bought two of them. One for either side of the building for the general store. I did get, let's see how much else we have in here. Not much else, just a few other things. Where's one? You gotta dig in these bags, y'all. Everything gets stuck down in the bottom. There we go. Um, so I did buy another little tea set. Um, this one's super cute. It's got cherries on it. This was about $5. Um, I really, really like this one. Super cute. All right. This is for the general store. Um, it is a rake and just some tools, gardening tools. If I can get it open. Um... They look like pretty good quality. Yeah, they're metal. There's a little shovel, a rake, and a hoe. Those are pretty nice. I'll put those in the general store. Um, to whoever um, recommended me to go to the nail art section for my little suckers, oh my gosh, you were not lying. Look at how adorable those are, y'all. There's a ton of them in here, I'm not sure. And I don't know how you would use those on your nails, but more power to you. And then this last one is some little cats. I told y'all I was going to make a grooming studio. Well, um, the, other, the rest of the grooming stuff is in another order. So it hasn't come in yet. Oh, no, these are dogs. These aren't the cats. I can tell the difference between cats and dogs, guys. Sorry. Um, but they're super cute. These are going to be in the grooming studio. So super, super cute. Um, and it's one, two, three, four, five, six little dogs. I think that'll be perfect. Um, the painting's not great on them, but we'll paint one and we can see how they can look better, um, if we want them to, but again, you know, they're going to be in a little, um, display, so people might not even notice them too much. Well, guys, that is everything. Um, I know that was kind of quick and it wasn't very much, but, um, I thought it was a pretty nice miniature haul. And so in our next video, I'm going to be working on the um, general store walls, um, and hopefully we'll get those up, and we can get moving to start making all the fun stuff on the inside of the general store. Thank you so much for watching. Um, thank you for your comments. Um, I appreciate those, and please make sure that you subscribe and that you like the video, um, and I'll see you next time. Thanks, guys.